Well, religious services have also fallen victim to the snow and bitter cold temperatures. Dozens of churches around central Ohio have canceled their services for tomorrow. 10TV's Danielle Elias takes a look at what led to these decisions all across the region. Danielle? Well, Chuck, a number of pastors I spoke with say this was a dis difficult decision to make. But for those in the rural areas where the snowfalls were higher and where the winds were stronger, they say they chose to close. We're a church. We love Sundays. We love the worship and fellowship. And we don't like to lose our worship services. But uh, I think the most essential part of our Christian faith is to look out after each other like our shepherd looks out after us. We're concerned about people's safety. And Pastor Mark Catrick was concerned enough about the snow and bitter cold to cancel services. We'll just worship in our homes the way the early Christians did. He says it's the first time in a while they've decided to shut their doors on a Sunday. But really, he says he couldn't have even opened them if he tried. He points to the snow piled high. That's probably the biggest drift in the whole parking lot. And it's almost up to the top of those windows. With so much snow, it makes driving tough and walking even harder. He says a parishioner normally plows, but hasn't started yet, knowing the wind would push the powder around. That's probably a sign from God, don't you think? Nearly an hour west on the north side of Columbus, where the snowfall was much lighter, an evening church service went on without a hitch. It's my energy for the week. It keeps me grounded. It keeps me focused. Churchgoer Julie Quackenbush says the weather wouldn't hold her back. If the opportunity is there, I'm, I'm going to be here, find a way to get here. With Bible in hand, she embraced the opportunity to pray at church, while others will have to at home. It's God's handiwork, and uh, it is very impressive. And while I'm sure some are praying for better weather, you can check our website, 10tv.com, for all the latest on the closures, as well as you can see on the bottom of the screen, we have everything listed there. Reporting live on the north side of Columbus, Danielle Elias, 10TV News.